Okay, hello. Today we're going to continue with polynomials and exponents. And this is the guided practice. Uh, what you have been doing the days before this is the examples of the laws of exponents. But now this is for applied situations okay so what it means is like this you actually have to uh, apply it to longer equations what is the product of this what is you need to simplify these now we have three factors and this is one applied situation determine the volume of a cube with the side length of this okay Today we're just going to do these four because I don't want the videos to be that long because they get too big and I have problems uploading. All right, so we're going to keep it short only with these four and then on Friday we do the other four, okay? And also because, you know, you have to be copying these exercises on a piece of paper if you don't have a printer, okay? So, like I promised. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to keep it short. So we're going to use the laws of exponents. It says when you multiply. Okay. So on this one, we're multiplying. So just make sure you have your piece of paper. You copy the exercises from the document. You're ready to start the video. And then, of course, you can stop the video and pause whenever you need to. Okay. All right. So let's begin with this. We already did exercises like these. I know that some of you already did your quizzes and you guys did very good. And I'm very happy and I'm very proud of all of you. All right. Okay, so we're going to be multiplying. Okay, everything here is multiplying. But of course, we can only multiply A with the A. So let's multiply this one and this one. And then we're going to multiply B with the B. Okay. All right. So we're going to multiply them like this. So it's A, A to the fourth times A to the eighth. Remember, over here we're multiplying. Okay. So I'm going to begin with the A. A to the fourth times a to the eighth. When you multiply, what do you do? You add the exponent, so four plus eight, okay? Then the b, b to the seven times b to the four. When you multiply, what do you do? You add the exponent, seven plus four, seven plus four. So I'm putting the operation right here on the top. That way you see where you get the answer from. So the product or the simplification is a 4 plus 8 12 times b b to the power of 7 plus 4 what is 7 plus 4 uh 11 okay and this is your answer right here okay that's it on number two they're asking you what is the product of this and this product means what results of multiplication so it means that you're going to multiply this times i'm going to put the dot where the word and is this times this but we see coefficients remember what we said about the coefficients you multiply the coefficients right so we're going to multiply this times this and then I see the letter x to the power of 6, and then over here the x to the power of 9. So we're going to multiply these two. All right, and then over here I see the letter y and y to the cube. So same thing, I'm going to multiply these two right here. Okay, so 2 times 3. That will be 6. x to the power of 6 times x to the power of 9. 
what do you get? 6 and 9. You're going to add 6 plus 9, all right, times the y. This y has a power of, let me zoom it in a little bit so you can see it better and focus. All right. This y, if you don't see any power over here, it means that you have to assume that the power is a 1, okay? So y to the power of 1 times y to the power of 3. So that will be 1 plus 3 over here. And what's the answer? 6 x to the power of 6 plus 9, 15 times the y. 1 plus 3, 4. And this is your answer. Okay, that's it. You've simplified and you applied the laws of exponents. So, what happens on this problem? Simplified, number three. So just make sure you copied it. You already have it on a piece of paper. <coughs> Excuse me. So the first thing that we see is that we have coefficients. And now we have one, two, three factors. Okay, and everything is multiplying. We're going to simplify applying the laws of exponents. So these three are going to multiply it, okay? And then the a to the power of 2 is going to multiply the a to the power of 5 and then multiply the a right here. And then the b, b to the power of 5 is going to multiply the b to the power of 6 and then multiply the b. So I'm going to do it uh, step by step so you can understand. So negative 4 times 3, don't break your head, don't get a headache, just put it in your calculator. I'm just going to multiply negative 4 times, times 3 times what? negative 5. And this gives me 60. Oops, sorry. So the product of these three coefficients is 60, right? Now let's go with the a's. a to the power of 2, 5, and 1. So we're going to, when you multiply, you add the exponents. So you're going to add 2 plus 5 plus 1. So 2 plus 5 plus 1, okay, and then the b times times. b is uh, when you multiply, you add the exponents, so you're going to add 5 plus 6 plus 1. 5 plus 6 plus 1. Uh, if you can understand the process without having to write the sum over here under the exponent, you're good. That's fine. You can go straight to this answer. I know that some of you will be able to add this in your head. A to the power of what? 2 plus 5 plus 1? 8. And B? 5 plus 6? 11. Plus 1? 12. And this is your answer. Okay? Sixty a to the eight, b to the twelve. All right, in this applied situation, uh, you have to write what it says right here in the problem. Determine the volume of a cube with a side length of two x y cubic. All right, volume of a cube. So first, you have to remember that a cube is something like this. Okay. So that's why these are the applied problems. This is a cube, okay? And every side measures this expression, 2xy cubic, 2xy cubic, and 2xy cubic, okay? On here and here. How do you find the volume of this cube? The volume equals side by side by side. If it's a cube, it means that the three sides measure the same. The length, the width, 
but in this case it's a Q so